The RQ-1 Predator UAV is a long-endurance, medium-altitude unmanned aircraft system for surveillance and reconnaissance missions. Surveillance imagery from synthetic aperture radar, video cameras, and a forward-looking infrared FLIR, can be distributed in real-time both to the frontline soldier and to the operational commander, or worldwide in real-time via satellite communication links. MQ-1, armed with AGM-114 Hellfire missiles, is the multi-role version which is used for armed reconnaissance and interdiction. A contract was awarded to General Atomics Aeronautical Systems in January 1994 to execute the Tier 2, medium-altitude endurance Predator program. The Predator system first flew in 1994 and entered production in August 1997. Predators are currently in production for the U.S. Air Force and are operational with the U.S. Air Force 11th and 15th Reconnaissance Squadrons. Over 125 Predators have been delivered to the U.S. Air Force. 36 additional MQ-1B Predators, with Hellfire missile installation kits, were ordered in September 2007. Six Predator UAVs are in service with the Italian Air Force. Italian company Meteor was responsible for assembly of five of the six. The Italian system was deployed to Iraq in January 2005. Predator UAVs have been operational in Bosnia since 1995 in support of NATO, UN, and US operations and as part of Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan and Operation Iraqi Freedom, flying over 500,000 flight hours on over 50,000 flights. The MQ-1 Predator achieved initial operating capability, IOC, in February 2005. General Atomics is the prime contractor and the main subcontractors include Versatron slash Westchem for the electro-optical Skyball Jimble, Northrop Grumman for the synthetic aperture radar, L3 Communication for the wideband satellite communications link, and Boeing for the intelligence workstation and mission planning system. In February 2001, the Hellfire Sea Laser Guided Missile was successfully fired from a Predator Air Vehicle in flight tests at Nellis Air Force Base, Nevada. In November 2002 in Yemen, a Predator UAV was used to drop a Hellfire missile which destroyed a civilian vehicle carrying suspected terrorists. A Northrop Grumman Bat submunition was successfully dropped in a Finder Mini UAV launched from a Predator UAV in August 2002. In May 1998 General Atomics was awarded a Block 1 upgrade contract to expand the capabilities of the Predator system. System upgrades include development of an improved relief on station ROS, system which allows continuous coverage over areas of interest without any loss of time on station, secure air traffic control voice relay, Kuban satellite tuning and implementation of an Air Force mission support system UFMS. The upgrade also covers a more powerful turbocharged engine and winged icing systems to enable year-round operations. The upgraded Predator, the Predator B, has been operational in the Balkans since April 2001. In March 2005, the US Air Force awarded a further contract for the System Design and Development SDD, of MQ-9 Reaper Hunter slash Killer. 21 MQ-9 have been ordered and 8 delivered to the U.S. Air Force. The first U.S. Air Force MQ-9 Squadron, the 42nd Attack Squadron, was formed in March 2007. It is based at Creech AFB in Nevada. The U.S. Air Force first deployed the MQ-9 Reaper to Afghanistan in October 2007, where it is being used for precision strikes. The MQ-9 Reaper flew its first operational mission in Iraq in July 2008. The MQ-9 Reaper has an operational ceiling of 50,000 feet, a maximum internal payload of 800 pounds and external payload over 3,000 pounds. It can carry up to four Hellfire 2 anti-armor missiles and two laser-guided bombs, GBU-12 or EGBU-12, and 500 pounds GBU-38 JDAM, Joint Direct Attack Munition. In May 2008, a U.S. Air Force Reaper successfully test-dropped four Raytheon GBU-49 Enhanced Paveway 2 500-pounds bombs, which have laser and GPS guidance. The MQ-9 sensor payload can include the General Atomics Lynx SART, Synthetic Aperture Radar. Lynx also features ground-moving target indicator technology. The Predator is to be flight-tested with AL-3 Communications Tactical Common Data Link, TCDL. In September 2012, the Block 1 Plus Predator B slash MQ-9 Reaper successfully completed its first flight. It is an upgraded version of the Block 1 Predator B. The new configuration features increased electrical power and gross takeoff weight, GTOW, upgraded electrical system and new communications systems. In August 2005, a version of Predator B, called Sky Warrior, 
project was chosen for the four-year system development and demonstration SDD, phase of the U.S. Army's Extended Range Slash Multipurpose ER Slash MP UAV program, 11 Sky Warrior systems, each with 12 air vehicles and 5 ground control stations. Initial operating capability is planned for 2009. Two Block Zero Sky Warrior UAVs were deployed to Iraq in April 2008. Also in August 2005, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security slash Customs and Border Protection (DHS slash CBP) ordered two Predator B systems for monitoring of the USA's southwest border. The first was delivered in late 2005, the second in September 2006. Two further systems were ordered in October 2006 for monitoring operations on the border with Canada. In September 2006, the UK requested the Foreign Military Sale FMS, of two MQ-9 Reaper systems with Lynx SAR, multi-spectral targeting systems and one ground station. Deliveries began in mid-2007 and the RAF deployed the system in Afghanistan in November 2007. In January 2008, the UK requested the sale of an additional 10 MQ-9 systems. A typical Predator system configuration would include four aircraft, one ground control system and one Trojan Spirit 2 data distribution terminal. The Predator air vehicle is 27 feet in length and has a 49 feet wingspan. The system operates at an altitude of 25,000 feet and at a range of 400 nanometers. The endurance of the air vehicle is more than 40 hours and the cruise speed is over 70 kt. The air vehicle is equipped with UHF and VHF radio relay links, a C-band line of sight data link which has a range of 150 nanometers and UHF and Kuban satellite data links. The surveillance and reconnaissance payload capacity is 450 pounds and the vehicle carries electro-optical and infrared cameras and a synthetic aperture radar. The two-color DLTV television is equipped with a variable zoom and 955 mm spotter. The high-resolution FLIR has six fields of view, 19 mm to 560 mm. The Raytheon Multispectral Targeting System MTSA, is fitted on the MQ-1-9 Predator. The MTSA provides real-time imagery selectable between infrared and day TV as well as a laser designation capability. MQ-1 can employ two laser-guided Hellfire anti-armor missiles with the MTS. The Northrop Grumman Tisser Synthetic Aperture Radar is fitted on the MQ-1 and provides all-weather surveillance capability, has a resolution of one foot. Other payload options, which can be selected to meet mission requirements, include a laser designator and range finder, electronic support, and countermeasures and a moving target indicator MTI. The U.S. Air Force equipped a number of MQ-1 and MQ-9 Predators with a version of the Northrop Grumman Airborne Signals Intelligence Payload ASIP, in 2010. Northrop Grumman was awarded a contract for the development and flight testing of the system on an MQ-1 in April 2008. ASIP was tested on the U The UAV ground control station is built into a single 30-feet trailer, containing pilot and payload operator consoles, three Boeing data exploitation and mission planning consoles and two synth Synthetic aperture radar workstations together with satellite and line of sight ground data terminals. The ground control station can send imagery data via a landline to the operational users or to the Trojan Spirit data distribution system, which is equipped with a 5.5M dish for Kuband ground data terminal and a 2.4M dish for data dissemination. Predator follows a conventional launch sequence from a semi prepared surface under direct line of sight control. The takeoff and landing length is typically 2,000 feet. The mission can be controlled through line of sight data links or to know that we have a hand in what's going on in the world, whether it's training pilots home station or being deployed supporting the war effort. The highlights of this amazing vehicle are its MTS ball, which is located in the forward of the aircraft, which is the eye in the sky. Extremely powerful cameras inside of there, so powerful that you could be up to elevations of 18 to 20,000 feet and look down and read someone's driver's license number. The other capability that this has is its payload. It's able to carry Hellfires and GBUs, which are 500-pound bombs. Well, it has a three-blade prop, which is driven by a 900-horsepower turboprop motor. The wings have the capability of...